Hi, my name is Stephen Parks. I'm a licensed clinical social worker and supervisor, and I work here as full-time clinical lecturing faculty. I was brought to the college out of clinical practice, and that's always been my specialty. I focus working therapeutically with children that have experienced trauma and mental health symptoms. And so my primary interest is really in, in play therapy. So I've always done play therapy in my career, and I enjoy talking about the benefits of therapeutic play and how it can have such healing restorative properties and how it can help children and adolescents attain their self-actualized self. And so I teach mainly on clinical topics such as diagnosis, cognitive behavioral therapy, assessment, and some of those clinical concepts. But I always have a special place in my heart for really that practice with pediatric populations. So I thought a little bit about who inspires me most and who keeps coming up for me is actually my students. That each year I'm really inspired by the level of interest and advocacy that they keep walking in the door with. My students now don't want to just learn the system, but they really want to walk alongside us social workers in restructuring what that system looks like, what it could be. And so I really see them as part of this transformative movement to really I don't want to say dismantle because that sounds destructive, but I want to say recreate and re-envision what mental health services looks like, what social services looks like, how do we serve the needs of others equitably and make sure that no one goes without, and how do we rebuild our systems from political all the way down to the very ground level to recreate and make sure that everyone has a seat at the table and everyone gets the services that they need and deserve. And so I love that my students are bringing those conversations into the classroom and that we're kind of having these tangents and side pieces on, well, how do we match the skills that we have to the needs that are out there? How do we do this in a new way? How do we build what hasn't been yet so that we have a better place for our children in the future? And so I think that's been my biggest inspiration lately.